Are you ready to do a lazy girl workout? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Austin here and welcome to your lazy girl workout. What that means is if you are feeling a little unmotivated, you don't really know where to start with your workout today, do not worry because this workout is all on the mat. You will be needing a pillow, which is great because some of the times like how we're gonna start is great leg lifts. So you guys can just come down, relax a little bit right here. I love a good lazy girl workout. It's the perfect thing to just press play and turn on when you're feeling lazy. So let's start with just some leg lifts right here. Your elbows propped up on the pillow. Inhale and exhale, making sure also that your chest is nice, tall and strong and your core is tight. These movements in today's workout are gonna be a little slower, which you'll also feel that burn. The slower you go, the more you're gonna feel it. But focus on your breath. Feel free throughout the workout to close your eyes. You're feeling a little tired, maybe you have your period today, and this is a great thing to do. Beautiful. Last two. Taking that over above head. Last one. Let's crunch it out. Great. Slow and steady crunches. Really elongate that side body, and hopefully, you're already starting to feel this in your outer thighs. Elbow, driving that knee. Press and release. Two more. And as you exhale, you're going to straighten out that bottom leg and plant that foot right in front of the knee. Now, what I want you guys from here, make sure again you're propping yourself up. We have inner thigh leg lifts. So, just a nice flutter. That nice, your leg is just coming up and down about a foot, I would say. Try to get it all the way up there using your inner thigh strength. That's the important part right here. <sighs> Beautiful. This one's tough. Doesn't look it. You're like, probably third movement. You're like, this is not a lazy girl workout. I really feel this. Or maybe you're like, this is wonderful because you didn't want to move from the mat. Also, if you have no boobies like me, you can do this in your PJs, truly. Like, these are the types of moves that I do in my PJs. And I just wake up and I press play and turn something on to energize me, to motivate me. Two more. And relax. As you guys relax, come up onto your knees. Don't worry, we're not coming up too much onto our knees in this workout. And I just want some side body bends. Flow it out right here. Breathe it in, really reach and stretch it on back. Reach those fingertips up and across. Ah, getting all the oxygen, waking up your body. And as you finish that, let's cartwheel our hands over with the pillow to the other side. Coming down, making sure you're comfortable right here, starting with those leg lifts. Lift and lower. Beautiful. I like to exhale as I lift that leg up. Two more. Last one. Lift that hand overhead. Let's crunch it out. Try not to lean over in this. Don't hunch your back over. Really prop yourself up. Nice and tall. Reach, elongate that side body. Lengthen through the spine and pull through. Great for your core, but also feeling this in your lats as you pull down and your core. Great, three more. Exhale every crunch for two 
and one. Let's straighten out that bottom leg and focus on our inner thighs now. Great. Breathe in. And exhale. Feel free to put your hand right behind your head as well for extra posture help. Again, using that inner thigh strength to get that foot up there and right back down. Awesome. Slow and steady. The slower you go, the more you're going to feel it. Nice work. Breathe in. And exhale. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. And as you finish that last one, roll onto your booty and your back, taking the pillow right between your knees. We're relaxing now. Take a deep breath. Feel free to place your hands right over your belly, taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale, letting it all go. Now, I want you guys to squeeze this pillow. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, wonderful for your inner thighs right here. Doesn't look like I'm doing much right here, but tucking my hips under. Awesome, awesome for your pelvic floor as well. You're squeezing your inner thighs and your knees together as tight as you can get this pillow. Wonderful. Inhale and exhale. Hold, butt's nice and tight, and we're gonna come up into that hip bridge still while keeping those inner thighs nice and tight. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, here we go. <sighs> exhale and squeeze at the top as well. My inner thighs are starting to burn and shake. Nice work. <sighs> Breathing is key, a part of this. Lift on up and relax. Great. Now let's add those arms up and down. So we're reaching those fingertips up as your booty comes up off the mat and right back down. Chest press up. at the top, in one, holding them at the top, hold, 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 and start to swivel those hips, great, swivel those hips, beautiful, from side to side for eight, seven, those inner thighs are still nice and tight, nice work, Woo. four, three, two, leave your hands up in the sky in one, booty on the floor, taking those feet up. Pillow is still squeezed, and we just have some nice mini sit-ups. So straight leg sit-ups, hold, great work. Inching those fingertips towards those ankles. Here we go for 12, 11, great. Getting those shoulders up off the mat. Beautiful. One, as you release, grabbing onto that pillow, placing it right on your head, and you're relaxing right here. Your legs are still in the sky. Beautiful, relax your upper body. Inhale, and as you exhale, start to bend one leg, pulling it towards your chest. Feel that stretch at first. And as you let it go, we're gonna bicycle it out. Now, as you pull your knee towards your chest, Using your lower abs, let's start to pick up our shoulders just a tiny bit to feel the extra burn. Slow and steady, Pilates bicycles for 15 more seconds. Let's crush it. Keep breathing, you got it. Three, two, one, relax. Relaxing right here. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more big deep breath in. Feel free to close your eyes. And as you exhale, picking yourself up a tiny bit off the mat right here. We're going to come up, picking those booties up, fingertips facing towards your body. We have tiny little tricep dips. Great work, you guys. So, your butt is not coming up and down. Your body is on a hinge, using your tricep muscles 
So bend your elbows slightly and then pick yourself back up. Beautiful. Here we go. Getting that hard to reach area of our arms. We only have 10. When you finish that last one, you're gonna come up and just feel that stretch. Stretch it on over. Open up that side body, stretch out your shoulders. And to the other side. As you release, we're actually gonna spin around onto our bellies now. So, put the pillow aside. Oh, you can take a nice little breather right here. Just kidding, we're not being that lazy. So put your pillow aside just for a hot sec. Coming, laying down onto your bellies, we have some supermans. So this is like the ultimate lazy girl workout because you can just be laying down like this anytime. And then be like, wait a second. Let me work my shoulders, my back, and my core, and my booty. It's a great full body move. What you're gonna do is reach out to high bobo. You're gonna reach out with those fingertips, reach out with those back toes, lift yourself up off the mat for a hot sec and right back down. Lift up, squeeze the booty. Oh, me. Wanna do it with me? Wanna do it with me? Squeeze. And release. Awesome. You're really squeezing your back muscles right here as well. Squeeze the booty, hold for three seconds. And relax. Beautiful, two more. On this last one, we're gonna hold and start to swim it out. Swim and flutter those arms, flutter those feet. We have 15 seconds right here, making sure your core is nice and tight. Reach those fingertips further up. Squeeze your back, squeeze your arms, squeeze your butt for eight, seven, great. Three, two, one, placing your hands right by your chest, picking yourself up for a high plank. Holding that high plank, wonderful. Now hopefully, in this workout, you're getting a tiny bit more energy right now, right? Beautiful, now feel free to pedal at your feet, get a beautiful stretch in as well. Holding that high plank, butt nice and tight. Holding for three, two, those knees towards the mat. Taking your pillow once again, relaxing your elbows onto it right here, letting your upper body go a little bit, and we have some beautiful leg lifts. So point that toe, lift and lower. Let's work our booties now. I feel like we did a lot of core in that first little bit. Now let's get our booties, beautiful. Inhale. How are we feeling so far? Better, better than 10 minutes ago, I hope. I hope you guys started this workout and you were dreading your workout, not dreading your workout, just like that. But I hopefully you guys were like not motivated. Now you're like, okay, wait, I can do this. I can start simple, because that's what it's all about. Just starting get, getting started, right? Last two, we're gonna hold your leg at the top on this last one and just give me tiny little circles. Tiny little baby circles, just like that. Nice work. Almost there. Your toe is just drawing that circle. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Coming onto the other side, lift and lower. Three, two, one. Plus, this workout is pretty quick. And I feel like, I feel like I should. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I, I would love, like, like as a user, if I was doing a workout, I would love something to be like, lazy girl workout, and be like the first like five, 10 minutes, be like, so, not easy, but a lazy girl workout. And then from there, you kind of pick up the pace because after five, 10 minutes, you gain so much energy, and sometimes, it's a horrible thing to say, but like sometimes you just have to lie to yourself. Lie to yourself that you're gonna do something really easy in just for five minutes, and then you'll realize how much better you feel, and you'll be like, wow, I actually wanna continue. Let's hold and circle. I feel like that's what happens to me a lot. 
I also am not motivated every single day to work out, so I am just like you, truly. And so with something like this, a lazy workout, is right up my alley a lot of the times. Inhale and exhale for three, for two, for one. Let's take pillow away, coming into a child's pose. Holding that child's pose right here, inching those fingertips up off the mat. Breathe in and exhale. Great. As you exhale, coming into a tabletop position and curling under those toes. Curl under those toes and just lift up for a floating tabletop and hold that right there. Great work, you guys. Hold, hold, hold. Great isometric exercise for your core, your upper body, but your glutes are nice and tight too. This is a wonderful way. You guys are doing a strength workout. This is a great warm up right here. This move. Then sometimes what I like to do is take those feet back, get a nice head start. Going into a lifted child's pose and that plank for four, three, great. Great mobility of the hips as well, two, and one back to that tabletop. Let's take one arm, open up our chest, and thread the needle through. Up. Let's do three on each side, opening the chest, sitting that booty nice and back. <sighs> Exhale, letting it all reach even further, and let's switch. those booties around a little bit right here. Great work, you guys. Breathe in. And exhale, one more big deep breath in. And as you exhale, come right here. <laughs> Laying down, Shavasana. <laughs> Laying down right here, feel free to put your hands right over your belly, feeling the breath come in and out, slowing down your heart rate, relaxing once again. You guys wanna stay in that lazy girl state. Or if you're now feeling motivated, I'm so proud of you. Taking a nice deep breath in, letting it all go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you at your next daily workout. And next time, it ain't gonna be lazy. <laughs>